donkey of the day for Thursday, July 13th goes to everyone who gassed up DeRay McKesson to think that the ape wearing a blue vest on the planet of the apes poster had anything to do with him. Now, it all started when social media started circulating a picture of the planet of the apes poster and asking, does the new planet of the apes poster have racially coded messages? They said that the poster had Black Lives Matter symbolism and one of the apes had on a blue vest. If you know DeRay McKesson, activist, and you know he always has on a blue vest. Now, let me describe the poster. Okay, uh, it's Caesar and his crew, and they are facing off of what seems to be military or some type of law enforcement and other monkeys who are down with the military and law enforcement. And on Caesar's side, it was an ape in a blue vest. Well, when social media got involved and started putting sauce on the situation and started alerting D-Ray to what's going on, it caused D-Ray to tweet, given the history of rendering black people as apes, I'm offended and appalled by the lack of consciousness in Hollywood. Hashtag Planet of the Apes. Now, before that tweet was deleted by D-Ray, it had 1,400 re retweets and 2,776 likes and over 500 comments. You know, in this era, nobody cares about the truth and the lie is more entertaining. A lie would travel all the way around the world twice before the truth was even putting on his shoes. Now, if you was paying attention, you may have noticed me say that the tweet was deleted. Why was the tweet deleted? Well, because OG Whoopi Goldberg must have gotten wind of this situation and she addressed it on The View yesterday. Let's hear it. Prominent Black Lives Matter activist DeRay McKisson accused filmmakers of personally mocking him by dressing up an ape in a blue vest, which he's been known to wear. DeRay. You need to go back and watch the 1968 original and check out what the apes were wearing. Yeah. This has nothing to do with you. This is a movie that was about what happens when mankind doesn't pay attention to environment, mm -hmm. to how we treat animals and each other. That's what that movie was about. And at the end of the movie, when they're riding around and you realize it's here, that's what the movie was about. Get over yourself. Burn. Burn. <laughs> That's it. Nothing more to say about this situation. The apes been wearing blue vests since 1968. Whoopi is right. So he's dressing like them. Yeah. Pretty much. Yeah. And everybody gassing D-Ray up is wrong. Okay. See, the thing about life is when you are presented with accurate information, factual information that debunks whatever you believed, then if you're an actual intelligent person, you must be forced to change your rhetoric, right? Your narrative. I didn't want. I didn't watch the old Planet of the Apes from 1968. My Planet of the Apes experience started with the Mark Wahlberg film that Tim Burton did, I believe. Pretty cool movie. And the current franchise I love. Okay, I will be sneaking food in the theater on Friday via one of my wife's bags to watch the final movie in this trilogy. But I had no idea that in the original 1968 film, it was a number of apes with blue vests on. But now I know. And knowing is half the battle. And D-Ray, being the smart person he is, tweeted out to Whoopi, if you have something to say, I'm here. I think he sent that before he was presented with this new information because it sounded like he wanted some smoke. Okay? Sounded like <laughs> it. But I think, you know, once he realized... Uh, what Whoopi was saying after being presented with the information that Whoopi delivered, he tweeted out, after speaking with even more people about the history of the film, I deleted the tweets. And then he tweeted out, now with the Planet of the Apes poster and toy, I was contacted by folks within Hollywood who thought there was an issue, hence those tweets. Well, DeRay, all those folks within Hollywood led you <laughs> down the wrong path. Okay, and you, DeRay, should know better than to trust folks within Hollywood. But I respect DeRay because when he was presented with correct information, he corrected himself. When I find new information, I change my mind. What do you do? Okay? In my book, Black Privilege, I have a principle, and the principle is give people the credit they deserve for being stupid, including yourself. It's okay not to know. But when you learn, do the correct thing with the knowledge you obtain. Don't double down on the dumbness. You know, like Conor McGregor, okay? So I applaud DeRay for changing his mind and deleting the tweets, but he's the only person I see correcting himself in this situation. I haven't seen a lot of people who were putting fuel on that fire correct themselves. I need y'all to have that same energy that you have when you think you're right that you have when you have been proven wrong, okay? We have to stop screaming fire in crowded movie theaters. If you don't know what that phrase means, it's a popular metaphor for the principal purpose of creating unnecessary panic, and that's exactly what all you people within Hollywood you Hollywood folks did by telling DeRay him and the Black Lives Matter movement were being mocked on the Planet of the Apes cover. Please give all those folks who gassed D-Ray up the biggest hee-haw, please. <coughs> and D-Ray would have got some of that hee-haw, too, if he hadn't corrected himself yesterday. But he, right. he did the right thing when presented with new information.